What is up, everybody? Matt Moda here with Daily Grind Fantasy. And if you're excited that the NBA season is back, you are not alone. We at Daily Grind Fantasy are also excited. And I'm here to give you my first NBA prize picks uh, DFS entry of the season. Hopped on to Daily Grind Fantasy, used the uh, DFS optimizer. We're looking at prize picks. We're looking specifically at the NBA. And there are a bunch of plays on here on prize picks for us to hammer. Before we can get into today's slip, I do real quick just want to talk about overall prize picks strategy. Teach you guys how to fish so we can all become profitable DFS players. So number one, when you are using prize picks, and I know this is going to sound a little scary, but in terms of number of legs in an entry, what you're going to want to do is play five or six pick flexes on prize picks and pretty much don't play anything else. The reason why, well, look at this drop down here. This drop down shows you all of the different entries you can play on prize picks. And in the, and in the parentheses here, you see the odds. Two pick power, minus 136. Three pick flex, minus 144. Three pick power, minus 140. Down the list, minus 132, minus 128. And then we look at the very last two, minus 119 and minus 119. What these odds are giving you are the individual odds of the entry per leg, which I know sounds kind of confusing. This is basically saying if you place a two pick power, each individual leg has the implied odds of minus 136. The reason why that's the case is because of the payout. So the best bang for your buck and the best way to be profitable over the course of time is to play five or six pick slips because as you see right here, we get the implied odds of minus 119. In terms of the win percentage of each leg, you see uh, prize picks, and we'll get into this, gives you the win percentage, the percent odds to hit. I can tell you how this is calculated. You're really looking at your break-even number to be anything above 54%, and you're going to be good to go. Again, I'll get into how price, or uh, excuse me, how DGF calculates these percent odds to hit. So step number one, when you're using plot prize picks, you should only be playing five and six pick slips. From there, what is your strategy of actually finding plays to put into the entry? So like, okay, how do I make up of, how do I make up these five and six pick flexes? All you're looking to do, maximize your win percentage. Every single five and six pick flex on price picks is going to give you the implied odds of minus 119. Doesn't matter whether you're taking LeBron over three pointers. Doesn't matter whether you're taking Kevin Durant under assists, Kevin Durant over assists. Every single five and six pick entry is going to have the implied odds of minus 119. So what that means is that you're not getting charged any extra juice depending on how likely the play is to hit. And think about that from a regular sports betting perspective. If you are playing something on FanDuel or DraftKings or Caesars and those sports books deem something likely to hit, well, they're going to juice the crap out of it. And what I mean by juice the crap out of it, they're going to give you very unforgiving, unfavorable odds. We see right here a perfect example. Look across the board at where all these sports books price this play. Minus 145, minus 148, minus 139, minus 155. All of these sports books deem this play likely to hit, so they're juicing up the odds. But because you're playing it on prize picks, you're only getting minus 119. Now, this play will be in our entry, but we'll get into it. So those are the two main things that I wanted to highlight before we got into our entry. Five and six pick flex options, and from there, just try and maximize your win percentage. And then you're gonna, you're, the next question you're going to ask, okay, genius, how do I know which plays are likely to hit? And that's where Daily Grind Fantasy and their DFS optimizer comes into play. The way it works is we see this logo right here, the DGF logo, and we see odds under it. Now, this first one right here is a promotional play on prize picks. Obviously, if you have not used this one yet, you absolutely want to. Steph Curry, to record a point, let's hope that he doesn't have anything catastrophic happen at the beginning of the game. He was able to uh, score a point. That's a free leg, a free slip that Price Picks is giving you promotional play. Again, if you have not used that, definitely do. But what Daily Grind Fantasy does is it takes into account a ton of information. Part of that information are the odds of what sports books are pricing a play at, along with correlation and uh, giving heavier weight to the books that are considered sharper. And they are coming out with their own odds for what a market should be priced at. You can call it the perfect line, the most accurate representation of what a market should be priced at. 
however you want to call it, that's exactly what Daily Grand Fantasy does. They literally calculate their own odds, taking into account where the sports books are pricing something. So if if all the sports books are really high on an outcome, that's obviously going to influence the Daily Grand Fantasy odds. So how do we know what plays are likely to hit? Let the sports books tell you what plays are likely to hit and go from there. And that's kind of what Daily Grand Fantasy does. And that's why this tool is so amazing. So how to actually use the tool. And now we are getting into our slip. Again, if you haven't used the Steph Curry one, use it. We're not going to use it because this one's obvious. I don't need to sell you on why Steph Curry is going to record a point. Our first actual leg that we are locking in here, Laurie Markkinen to record under 35 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists. Um, this is our first play, the percent odds to hit 56.16%. And um, for this percent odds to hit, these odds are just taken from, or excuse me, the percent, uh, the percent odds to hit, excuse me, what percent chance this play is hitting are just taken from the daily grand fantasy odds. So basically you convert minus 152 into a win percentage. And that is where you get this win percentage of 56.16%. Now, I like this play a lot, aside from the fact that the implied odds are minus 152, or the, the true line, I should say, and that's going to hit at like a 56% rate, is a couple things. So the prize fix logo is the, is the play that we're actually taking, 35 and a half. Here are the odds from every sports book. And look at where they price Laurie Markkinen's over under. DraftKings, 34 and a half. Caesars, 34 and a half. Bet Online, very sharp sports book, 34 and a half. Cliff, 34 and a half. They all price it one stat below what we are getting it at on prize picks. And I know one point rebound assist, whatever you want to call it, might not seem that valuable. But over the course of time, we've all had these situations where you get beat, you get got by the hook. If this lands at exactly 35, you're cash in prize picks, you're losing every other play. That'll happen more often than you think. This is leg number one. Laurie Marketing under 35 and a half points, rebounds, assists. In terms of actually reading the tool, it's pretty easy. Player name stat over slash under and uh, then the price picks number that you're taking it at. And then the next two are derived from DGF. Leg number two, PJ Washington, another under, this time at 23 and a half points, rebounds, assists. This should be priced at minus 148 in terms of the true line, win percentage of 55.62%. Similar logic to these two plays. Look at where every other book prices it. Literally every other book, 22 and a half. Again, that one point, it's a really big deal over the course of time. If, if you are consistently able to beat the closing line by one point, one stat, one whatever, you are going to be profitable in the long run. Not here telling you that this play is a lock. I am here telling you that this play should roughly hit at 55.6% of the time. And because we're getting it for the implied odds of minus 119, that's positive expected value. Next play is for the same logic as the first two, so I won't dive or I won't spend too much time on it. John Collins, and this is our third leg, under 19 and a half points, rebounds, assists, implied odds, uh, or excuse me, the um, DGF perfect line of minus 145, roughly a 55% win percentage. Every other book has it at 18 and a half. We are taking the under 19 and a half, one stat higher, positive EV. Now these next three, are not the example necessarily of a different line between prize picks and the other sports books. It's just the difference in terms of the odds themselves. So our fourth play, Sadiq Bay over four and a half rebounds. Uh, this is priced, uh, quarter the DGF should be priced at minus 143. It's gonna hit just below a 55% rate. And this is the, uh, the play that I hinted at earlier, but look at where every other book prices it, right? FanDuel is the lowest on it at minus 128. Every other book, minus 145 minus 148, minus 139, pretty much across the board in the minus 140s with the most likely at minus 155 with the lowest at minus 128. DGF is somewhere close to the rest of the sports books at minus 143. So there's not a difference in the lines themselves. The sports books still price it at four and a half, but they're heavily, heavily juicing the over. They're heavily, heavily favoring the over. And by doing that, they're making it more expensive to buy, right? They're making the odds less favorable for us. And that's the same case with these last two plays. Play number five, LeBron James, you might have heard of him, over one and a half blocks plus steals. Uh, this should be priced at minus 142, win percentage of 45, uh, excuse me, 54 and a half percent. Look at where every other book prices it. 
minus 135 up to minus 150 and everywhere in between. Once again, Daily Grand Fantasy is somewhere in the middle. Very good price here. Last up, our uh, sixth and final leg for this video. Sabonis, Demontis Sabonis under seven and a half assists. DGF prices this to be at minus 141, 54.36% win percentage. Some books price it at seven and a half. Some price it at six and a half. The ones that do price it at seven and a half. Now, FanDuel has it at minus 115, but then we see right here at minus 120. And then we see two other books have it one stat low at six and a half. And here we have it, six legs, all NBA. We are just as excited as you are that the NBA season is starting. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Get notified when new videos drop. Appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.